<clears throat> right, your pokey guy here, and um, as I said, I'd um, show some of the work. This is a IGT Game King multi star five game in one. 9960 New Zealand board or Australian board. I call them New Zealand because we have them here in New Zealand, but they're Australian assembled and made, I guess. But um, yeah, so when I got this, um, this area here, try to move this around for you. Um, let's see, she looks all nice and clean at the moment because that's all been lacquered. But yeah, that's the area where. This little fella here goes, which is your Vata battery, which has a habit of leaking and has been sitting around for ages, but that's actually a brand new one. But as in the previous video I said I was going to make it external, but I changed my mind now, I've actually put, uh, what do you call them, a cell, um, uh, well it's got a lithium in it now anyway. Uh, circle cell, I can't remember what they call them, 3 volt, normally there's a resistor there on these boards, um, but I took that off and put this board on and it seems to be kept in the memory, because overseas, overseas boards tend to have um, both that and the VATA there, but it doesn't seem to be necessarily um, reason for this up on the B here as well. Not on this board anyway, because it seems to keep with the memory. A um, little trick you can do with these boards is, as you see, the Dallas um, non-volatile SRAM, made in the Philippines. Um, if you want to do a RAM clear on this, what I do is actually turn those around. It's probably not the proper way of doing it, but it actually works in the PE, the, um, the old PE boards as well. Um, you know, the old draw poker and stuff, which I guess is another way of shorting the RAM out and then basically spin it back around, put it back in and start it up again and, yeah, wipes the RAM. Might not be the best way of doing it. I don't know if it does any damage or not, but I wouldn't recommend it. But if you really need to get your machine um, back to clear, it actually does work. Because I know in the overseas ones they got a new set chips and clear chips and all the rest of it. But I'm guessing those are mainly to change denomination and everything else. But with these are set denomination anyway, which is on the EPROMs here. Which, um, so if we look at this one here, turn it around. We'll tell you it's a multi star five. So it's multi star five games in one, and it's two cents. So that's your big EPROM. And of course, you've got all the rest of them. But yeah, this area here is um, bad on these because it causes a lot of issues and as you can see it looks all nice and shiny and clean now. But yeah, a lot of those have been bypassed on the <clears throat> underside of the board. Um, which I'm not going to unscrew it and show you at the moment, but it's pretty basic. You just use your multimeter on um, ohms or diode setting and just follow those tracks or traces, which is... Um, Sort of what I was talking to you about, and if not too short, sure I'm talking about there is basically your copper traces on your boards. Um, that's and these are double sided printed boards, so and of course, where those wee little tiny holes are, the track will follow through onto the other side and continue onto another circuit or diode resistor, whatever. Um, other than that, this board here is running pretty good. Still a few ghosts in the machine. This sounds a wee bit crackly. I did try doing the resistor trick. I've seen one of the things from um, editing out of a resistor to this to that point there. Didn't make any difference. I might play around here later because I think there may be some wee bit of interference here somewhere, but not too stressed about it because you can't really hear it anyway. Especially if you're in a pub or something like that. Gaming machines, you wouldn't even notice it. Um, yeah, but other than that, I'm um, not too bad. Um, but yeah, you just got to watch on these um, adapters here. I know you can buy um, aerosol products that you know get rid of corrosion and everything else. I tend to lightly give them a very fine sandpaper, light sand on all those pins. 
um, which helps. But yeah, no, you sort of your basics. You know, you lots of different capacitors here. Your bigger capacitors over here. Sometimes it just pays to replace all those. You know, put a new. As people say when they're selling these machines or even a monitor, they'll say they put a fresh kit, kit in it. Um, other than that, if things are working pretty well, wouldn't stress too much about it. Sometimes on older boards, they won't go until it's warm, and I'm guessing that's a case of. Um, as it warms expansion and you might have some cold solder joints somewhere on the board and it kicks in after that which can be quite hard to trace on a big circuit board like this these were obviously pretty advanced for their time because you know cause they're quite a clever machine um but yeah other than that now i'll just sort of give you the run through on that stuff um and also um these are basically have a standard sound setup i'm guessing if it's a real machine or something like that which just basically has your machine you know your real spinning but of course these machines here being like a bit more advanced um they have this here which is an add-on sound card which i'll let's stick that back on Keen. Pins up. and um yeah, pretty much just sits in there like that, of course. Obviously you can add more aprons and whatever, if you had more games or you need more sound chips, etc. But yeah, now this whole um, battery issue thing is um, sort of quite misleading. I looked at a lot of information on the internet and they are saying, you know, when you remove a battery, make sure you've got voltage apply to keep the memory and don't wipe this and don't wipe that, but it seems to be all irrelevant. Um, yeah, because I did a lot of work in this area here to get it cleaned. These wee um, tools here are very handy. You can see these wee fiberglass, you just wind it out, there's a wee fiberglass bristle. Of course, don't get on your skin or your eyes if you can. I'm um, good for, you know, scraping down and cleaning it all up. And I've also, um, the reason why it looks all nice and shiny and new is because I've done all my work and got her running. Um, I like to use like a, a lacquer, um, yeah, just to seal it up and make sure, try not to get any more corrosion or anything like that. And of course you can buy um, this sort of similar brand or overseas, of course, wherever you are. You know, compressed air in a can and um, circuit board cleaner and blah, 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 and etc. A lot of it's just you don't really actually need it. But yeah, this is just good for sealing it up. It's just really a clear coat, I guess. But yeah, no, that's pretty much it, really. Um, yeah, so hoping this info helps, or if you get stuck, just, you know, comment on um, YouTube or whatever, but um, battery over here seems to be charging. Don't know why this one here's a 3 volt and this one here's a 3.6, I'm not too sure what the idea of that is. Um, yeah. But as for you, I'm still learning as well. But yeah, you go. See ya.